we're going to install our 550 watt motor on the Emco Unimat 3. Currently the new control unit with reverse on the fly, 12 tooth, half inch wide belt. We'll go through it step by step. First remove the cover, the motor, and the plate. Spindle head should look like this when you're ready to start assembly. First install this plate. Yours won't have sample on it. Mine does because it's used several times. The two taper head and the one button head bolt. Hand tight is good. Next up is the roll pin. You're going to want to put the gap away from the pulley towards the back like this. If you've never done one of these roll pins, they can be a little tricky to get them to go in just right. Sometimes turning and trying from the other side works better. You should have a flat roll pin punch. This will work. You want to get it so it's even top and bottom. Too far. Like that. It doesn't have to be perfect, just close. The spindle drive pulley is what we're going to fit next. You should have already measured your spindle. And the pulley, you need one thousandth of an inch press fit. If it's more than a thousandth, you're going to have a hard time. If it's less than a thousandth, it's going to be too soft. On these leaves, you can usually tell, just slide it on. It should go up to about the width of the roll pin between the roll pin and this flat surface. If that's the case, you're just about right. So now you're going to want to put this in a preheated oven. Heat at 450 for 15 minutes. Get your hammer and a block to hit it with ready just in case you have to pound it a little bit more. If you miss it, you're going to need special tools. You only got seconds from the time you slide it on there until the temperature gets close enough that they lock together. They lock together. You're going to need one of these to get it back off. If you damage the pulley, you're going to have to buy a new one. Okay, here we go. Hammer's ready. Something to hit it with ready. Oven mitts ready. I'm going to go get the part. Here we go. Line it up by eye. And it went right on all the way. If I did it cold, I had to pound it on like this. You need to make sure that pin's in all the way. Up tight against the pulley. We'll wait until it gets cold and see what we think whether it's tight enough or not okay i let it cool overnight it's very tight surprisingly for how loose it was when it went on it's not gonna move install the motor with the four remaining button head bolts Leave just snug so the motor will slide. Install the plastic spacer. Keyway. You might have to file the keyway just a bit. Pulley. Lock washer. Nut. Hand tighten should be enough. Install the belt.
lock motor in place, check tension, plug control unit in, power up, check P17. It's set at 8. 8 is correct for this motor. 550s use 8. Push the yellow button. Push both of them again. Scroll down. 8 is the brake. Check it. Mm, set it to. We'll set it to. We're going to set it to 1. Leave it a little soft. Push both of them again, scroll down to six, that's soft start, we'll leave it at one, push the yellow button to lock it in place. Scroll down to two, that's top speed, it's already set to 4500, these up and down, push the yellow button to lock it. Scroll down to two, 180, that's 200 at full torque, push the yellow button, turn it on. You're ready to go. Reverse. Forward. I'm going to set P1 to 100. P1. Select. 100. Select. 100 RPMs on the motor. Power it up. Slowest speed. Hundred and seven RPMs on the spindle. Highest speed two thousand seven hundred on the spindle. Notice how fast it stops. Belt adjustment. Listen to the noise. That's pretty good, but let's loosen it up a little bit. No, that's too loose. That's just a little looser than it was. Notice it's more, it's a little more quiet. Noise is directly related to how tight you make the belt. Now I'm going to explain forward and reverse and why you're going to set it soft versus tight. So we're going to go into programming and we're going to set P6, which is acceleration, up to, let's say 8. That's pretty fast. Save it. And then we're going to go up to braking, which is 8. And we're going to set it up to, the highest will go 6, so we'll set it to, the highest will go on this program is 5, so we'll set it to 5. And then we're going to try it out. First, we'll just turn it on, see how it fast it reacts. Problem is, this is threaded. If you stop it and reverse it, too fast and that's not tight enough it will unscrew let's try it and see what happens uh, it's working pretty good however i have tightened this really tight the first time i did that this just spun right off so make sure that this is really tight 
and this shouldn't be that hard. Set it back down to a suitable setting. Let's try two on braking and two on acceleration. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's too much. We'll go to one on acceleration and one on braking. I like that. That's pretty good. That's actually designed for the milling machine, but I've been using it on these little lathes just to see how it works.